like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. On number 28, we're being asked to expand this cubed binomial 2x plus 3. So in general, when you're cubing a binomial, the expansion is going to look like this. Uh, whatever the first term is, cubed, plus 3 times the first term squared times the second term, plus 3 times the first term times the second term squared, finally plus the second term cubed. Now this is just going to be your general expansion for when you cube a binomial, but in our case we've got 2x plus 3 that's being cubed. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x plus 3 cubed. Now notice how this looks very similar, it's just that instead of a and b we have 2x and 3. So I'm just going to rewrite like this whole thing, um, except I'm going to make some replacements. I'm going to substitute uh, I'm going to substitute 2x for a, so 2x is going to be my a, so a is going to be 2x, and then my b is going to be 3. Okay, so maybe I'll just say equals because that doesn't really look like much like an arrow. Um, so as I fill this in, I'm just going to make these replacements. So everywhere where I see a, I'm going to replace that with 2x, and everywhere where I see b, I'm going to replace that with 3. So you just want to be careful here. You do want to put the 2x in parentheses because we're cubing that entire first term, not just the x. So I'm going to replace this a with 2x and also this a over here with 2x. Then I'm going to replace all the b's with 3. So this is going to be like times 3, and this is going to be times 3 squared. And then finally we've got this plus b cubed, so that would be plus 3 cubed. And let me drag this over so we're not running over our little notes. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Um, now we're just going to kind of go through the answer choices and see, you know, it looks like maybe they did a little bit of simplifying, but not too much. So we'll just go through and see which answer looks right. So first thing I'm noticing here is that the constant term here is 3 cubed. And we see that in choices uh, C, D, and E, but not B or A. It's definitely not 1, and it's definitely not just a 3. It's 3 cubed, so it can't be A or B. The next thing we're going to look at is the first term. So with the first term, I've got 2x, and that quantity is being cubed, not just the x. So you can see that we've got that here and here, but with C, uh, they are missing the parentheses around the 2x. So it can't be C. So that just leaves us with D or E. And if I'm looking at these two middle terms, so let's first zero in on like this second term right here, which would correspond to either this one or this one. Um, the tricky thing about this is the way I've got this written is I've got the 3 that came from the expansion and then the 3 that came from the B. So I do have 3 times 3 here. And that's the one thing that they did simplify here is they rewrote 3 times 3 as 3 squared. And you see that here, but not here, right? And they made this, they did the same thing with this third term. So here I've got 3 times 3 squared, which would be 3 cubed. And we see that here, but not here. So it definitely cannot be D, which leaves us with the correct answer choice, which is E. And that's it for number 28. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.